Well, this is pretty fantastic. Wow. Everything is so big in this thing. Four banks of four rows of pistons going down. So this is the back of it. Wow, this one's got an electric. This one has an electric motor, a gear drive, a chain, and a crank system. This must be where the starter is of the aircraft. And they've got a crank system to make this thing. Well, that's pretty cool. This somebody built this stand to actually run this engine to spin it. Probably not very fast, but show you how it all works. And you got your supercharger gear driven supercharger fixed, you know. And the air, here's your air coming in. Or this this jacket there is your compressed air, and all your manifolds come off of it. My goodness, there's just so many of them. It just it just strings along. Each bank of cylinders, that's your air intake, compressed air. That just cruises along, and then each piston. And that's your intake over there, and that's your exhaust. And there is one that shows. Spark plug is under the side of the head. Oh, that one, that one shows it. Each one shows something different. You see, the block is an inch thick. And the block is made in pieces too. You, you see, the block is made in sections. And it's all bolted together. Each, each set of pistons is its own ring. And there's just a million bolts holding it all together. <laughs> there's little bolts and gears everywhere. And it works. It's actually really reliable. I made pretty few of them. Well, I wonder if this does something. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh. Look at her go. You see the stroke of the piston. Oh, okay, let's look at this one. All the way to the bottom. It goes right at the bottom of that jug. And let's see how far it comes. It's going to come up. Four inches, five inches. Seems to travel about six inches. The full length of the fins. I wonder what those things are. Like hard. Oh, oh, oh. Push the button again. There we go. It's got the valves opening and closing. Oh, it does. It does have the valves opening and closing. This exhaust valve's opening right now. Piston's coming out and pushing the exhaust gases out. Oh, this is so cool. You know that valve's gonna close. Looks like it's closing a little early. Goes down to the bottom. Oh, I get it. Intake valve closes. Compression stroke. Oh, it ran out of time. That's fantastic. Where did you get one of those? That is... There's a look at if it was a... That's the crankshaft if it was just a single bank. The first versions of this, just one bank of cylinders, like that's on all those planes. The, the type that's all of these aircraft are built on. Well, I'd say the Spirit of St. Louis, the Jenny, nope. Just the Spirit of St. Louis and the Sawfoot, these single radial engines. Here's the current shaft for one, so that's how they spin around. And this looks like the cowling out of a B 29 or something. Yeah. 
gonna take the tower to the D29. Spruce Goose had an anchor. It's with a boat. This ME262 was also plans built. They built five of them at one time, brand new, Learjet engines in them, modern engines are in them, and uh, I can't imagine what this thing's worth. Two, two and a half million bucks. This is a Magneto. Wow. It's got to hit 28 cylinders. Oh, this is a double bank motor. Twin bank is Supercharger, mechanical supercharger, gear reduction. And you can see where the casing split, right? From here to here, so this is one whole piece. <laughs> and from here to here, it's another slice. The front place, this big plate. That's really something. And here's all your gears to spin your mags. Wow. Yeah, I learned an F4U Corsair. Kind of my favorite plane from the Second World War, I think.